Hello guys. Welcome to the channel. Um, I thought about uh, let you know uh, about what I do, you know, what you know. I, I, kn I know you guys already know that I do Volkswagen stuff, mechanic, you know, but I also go to uh, people's um, locations, you know, their houses and, and their job or on the side of the road, they call me, I go. And I thought about bringing you guys this. I think this is pretty cool. Um, I came to uh, help one of my friends and um, he's got a 20 anniversary GTI and I left him stranded on the road. So he called me, came here to do the test and like uh, basics test I, I just did was uh, check the spark plug, see if they were wet or not, how old are they? And we have no fuel. So I, I got my tester, um, this tester, it, it's a pretty cool tester. So um start testing relays and fuse, everything looks good. Um, I also test the relay fuel pump, it's good. So I think we have bad fuel pump and it looks like it's the original. And I call the um, auto parts, this is the car. It looks pretty nice, nice looking car. But I call the uh, auto parts and they say, they this use like two or three different type of uh, fuel pumps so um what i'm gonna do is remove the flinch because they say the flinch is the one that determine how what fuel pump this car takes so um i'm gonna take the fuel uh the flinch um out take it with me drive all the way to the auto parts buy the fuel pump and then come back give you a tour about he here's this. the car hold on um a little tour Oh, nice, nice GTI. It just got that little spot, but it's it's pretty nice. The RCs, pretty nice. So we got um, I check um the the fuel um the fuel what's it called relay that it's um right here on that box. There's a fuel pump relay. It's good. Um, check the spark plugs. And uh, that's a nice, uh, pretty nice uh, GTI. But um, I'm gonna have to take the the fuel pump out, or not yet. I'm just gonna get the the flinch, and then try to buy the trying to buy the uh, what's it called the the fuel pump. But here's the the cool thing about this GTI. This is number. 2,629. There you go, guys. That's pretty cool. Anyways. So, I think I'm just going to have to take my stuff and go to the auto parts. But I, I figure, let you guys know what I do. Because this is not, this is like, uh, I don't know, like half an hour away from my house. Maybe, yeah, around half, half an hour, 40 minutes. But that's what I do uh, for a living. I go to people's, you know, house or whatever, do oil change and this stuff. So I figure I'll bring you guys um, this so you guys can, can enjoy with me. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but I'm trying this. For everybody that doesn't know, this arrow right here, this dot and arrow, always point i'm sorry this arrow right here always point to the back of the car these two are for the the uh return and sending it, it re this already spin but that's how that's how it's supposed to be that arrow right here goes towards the back of the seat or the rear axle you know so don't don't you have to leave it like this in order for the floater or the sending unit to read the fuel gauge if no if you put them this way it might not read accurate so it looks like i got him loose it took me a little bit because the screwdriver are file and it's kind of sharp so it was kind of cutting a little bit the the edges you know where i was like hammering see 
So I didn't want to damage the flinch. So there you go. That part is done. So I only need this to figure the fuel pump, um, um, what's it called, measurement. But I think since I'm here, I can just like go ahead and and just take the whole thing with me. I know it's gonna be a smelling, but we gotta do what, you, what we gotta do, right? is like well half a gallon half a gallon there i'm gonna see if i if it drains so guys i'm um, all the way down I'm, I'm on my way to get the fuel pump uh, i got them out it's back here so i'm on my way to to the place and see if they got them in there so we so we can finish this job and um um i don't know it's nice i bring you guys alone so a little bit of what I do, you know, it's this. This is what I do for a living. I don't have an eight hours job, but that's what I do. And for me, it's enough, you know? So I thought about let you guys see, you know, what one of my days looks like. Guys, looks um, like. after a, a couple uh, tweaks on the GPS, I was able to find the um, advanced auto parts um and i found it man i found this thing um look at this oh my goodness for that fuel pump so now i'm on my way back um there's a lot of traffic right here like going on so um, yeah 317 dollars not even an original fuel pump it's just car quest so i'm not i'm going back I mean, I'm, I'm a little disappointed because, I mean, I think I can get an original fuel pump for less than that. I'm thinking, I don't know, I might be wrong, but uh, I'm a little disappointed because, I mean, we need it. We need it today, and um, that's all what I can do. So, they got one. The thing, the thing is that they they said that these cars use like a different size fuel pumps. So we were able to find the that this fuel pump it's a 4.8. So now for the future reference, um, we're just gonna try to get a 4.8 um, inches fuel pump. So here we go. There's a lot of police right here. I don't know what's going on. 45 speed limit I still can go 10 more miles but uh, guys so stay guys, tuned because I'm, I'm on my to, way back back here um, to the car and I um, want to start to prepare um, the swap um, no it's got like kind of like black stuff in there but anyway uh, what I'm what I like to show you guys is this I um, when I get a new pump I always like to swap this video um, Heart because it reads better accurate and sometimes that um this right here it doesn't read right so i like always to change it for the video one even if it looks like that this is way better than that than the other one so i just want to let you know um about this we need we need to have that if you got them and this is still in good shape guys use the original one so just try to click it back to that and um it will be good to go and i'm also gonna use this the same one it came out of here the same uh signal read it reader or whatever um it's very easy easy to swap it's only green and black so push the little um clip like right here look there's a like there's a clip right here you need to push that clip out i mean pull it out and then clip it push it back to clip where um where it was so here we go um you know this that clip remember guys that clip it's already been pushed and um now you just need to 
pull this thing out and you got to put them in the same position you um oh man i need to do two hands but one it's already done so we can just go ahead and um clip it back together so hopefully you guys can see it's a little hard with one hand but there you go see it's in that is easy black and green on the bottom or blue on the bottom same as this so guys um that's how it look our new pump why i'm using the same uh the same um parts i mean i'm using the same uh plastic i can this is brand new right i can just literally use the new one yes you can but the thing is this is new and it's not being wear out to the shape of this uh pins so it's best to use both parts together and um also uh this is the old one this one i don't have any any complaint about this um floater um you can go ahead and use the new one if it's the same exact one just use the new one so that being said let's go and oh look i want to show you guys this too the part on the bottom of the tank it's being collected right here and this pump has 225,000 miles so it's the original one so <laughs> i don't know i think it was time to replace it okay um i might gonna go ahead and use the original seal i don't know still thinking that the original seal is better guys we did okay, stay brought tuned. the sport plugs because um the ones were right here we're very very rough <laughs> so we're gonna have to change the spark plugs but right now um i got the fuel pump in so let's see if this thing even primes the system and uh see if it starts I didn't hear the pump. Oh, there she is. Okay. Okay. I didn't hear the pump. It's so quiet. <laughs> okay, so let's put this um, seat back. This uh, rear cushion back. Very clean, very clean car. She don't like the idle. So there you go. So let's put this wires back here. And that is it. So like I said, we're gonna have to um, go ahead and replace the replace the uh, spark plugs. We got a muscle car right here, guys. Oh, no, no. oh man, I dropped the little clip. So stay tuned guys, uh, let's see uh, what's going on with this. So I was able to replace the spark plugs and um, guys check this out. I mean, I think it was time to uh, replace them. them. Um, I don't know when was the last time that these spark plugs were replaced, but man, they were a good spark plug, NGK. 
not the correct ones for this type of uh, car with turbo, but I mean, at least we're gonna have to start with a fresh uh, spark plugs. Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't see this. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> what is going on there? Pretty cool, huh? I can see down there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, let's see. Let's hear this um, this engine. Um, let's see how uh, how it sounds now with the with the new spark plugs and the new pump. To this new sport plugs i guess um but uh, it still still got like a rough idle still got like a rough idle i don't know why does that thing There you go. Kind of got stable now. I don't know why it does that thing. But anyway, oh, wow, I didn't even look. This are brand new. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I look at it because I saw the brand new uh, headlights. That's pretty cool, huh? Looks cool, looks nice. So there it is, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me all the way to the end of this video. Um, here's my baby. And guys, I'm gonna point you. There's another wagon way back there. That's a TDI wagon. That's pretty cool. Anyways, back to the video. Like I was saying, thank you for watching, guys. And um, um, stay tuned for the next one. Um. This car is fixed. And um, look, I'm in the employee parking lot only. And um, hold on. So there is. Like I was saying, guys, thank you for staying all the way to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, I also we are will appreciate it if um, uh, if you guys um, give it a you know give it a like and share, thumbs up, comment on the video um a really really free no cost zero cost favor is if you guys subscribe it's free just click subscribe and it's for free um youtube doesn't charge to su subscribe so help you guys help you um help you guys help you boy out you know so stay tuned for the next one next one taco out